Hello there. <clears throat> Tonight's brush is my fader. Premium bore. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in some water. I should have done that beforehand. I'm going to face lather so I didn't get a bowl and I should have remembered I need to put that in some water. Anyway, <clears throat> our soap tonight, I've been doing kind of uh, either hard to find soaps or soaps that mostly soaps that have been discontinued that I have. And uh, this soap, as far as I know, Mystic Water Soap is still in business. But this soap, my source sandalwood. This scent is not available. She has a sandalwood scent, but the Mysore sandalwood is no longer available because uh, the uh, the sandalwood ingredient in it became too expensive for her to be able to acquire, and so she had to switch to a different sandalwood. But you know, as luck would have it, <laughs> this has been probably my very favorite sandalwood scent out there so I love sandalwood uh, there's a lot of different kinds but that particular sandalwood scent just is outstanding and it's what I judge pretty much everything else by uh, and so it's a favorite this particular soap scent does not exist anymore in her lineup we're gonna shave with it tonight And I have, I guess, two, three days of growth. Mystic Water is a soap that a lot of people have a difficult time lathering. And I can tell you that if you're not, you know, on the ball, I, I use it all the time. But if I'm not on the ball, or I slack in any kind of way, then it's difficult to lather. And people will say, well, why would you use a soap like that when there's so many others out there? And the thing of it is, is this soap, when I first used it, it disappeared on my face in about 30 seconds. But it left a residual slickness on my face that I did a two-pass shave with. Okay? So, you know, when something like that happens, my brain goes, there's got to be something about this soap. That's got to be a fantastic soap. So I... Uh, proceeded to learn to lather the soap. And it's, it is a fantastic soap. But it requires a level of attention... That other soaps don't in order to get the best out of them and this dry as a bone so we're gonna add a bit of water in that there we go and so you know it's only what you like I like a lot of soaps that are easily lathered and all of that but uh, I don't have an issue and learning how to lather a soap that might be considered difficult by some, particularly when that soap gives me the kind of experience and performance that I get from this soap. I don't normally face lather this, so I might mess it up. I normally bowl lather, but I'm not in the mood to bowl lather. I'm in the mood to face lather. So I'm going to face lather. And if it works, it works. And if it don't, you'll see that too. So, and that's all right.
but it's a lovely creamy uh, just beautiful dense type of lather I don't know let's see and it's tallow uh, this is the razor that I'm using tonight I'm using my or Pensia, my wappy straight I saw Orlin he knows who he is on straight razor place or not straight razor place straight razor honing his dad had left him his dad had passed away and his dad had left him two razors and he knew what the one was but he had one of these and he wasn't sure what it was and of course I recognized it immediately for what it was there were two versions of these razors and I don't think that they were made by the same company uh, one version the first version had the stainless steel scales and they were produced for a time and I, my history is not real strong on the date but they were produced for hospital use I think I think at least 60s probably earlier than that but Straight shavers got a hold of them especially in places like Poland where it was made because they were inexpensive but straight shavers got a hold of them and developed they developed a following and people Bought them up. Dude, that's slick. And basically, if I understand correctly, they were buying new old stock. This was a new old stock that my friend received and sent to me. Uh, gifted me with it but uh, and eventually what happened is they became so popular that they became harder and harder to find and uh, so uh, another gentleman in Poland another razor manufacturer produced another model of them that model Add red celluloid or plastic scales, dudes. Hmm. There's so much slickness on my face, even after rinsing and wiping with a towel, a, a, a washcloth. It's crazy. That's one of the reasons I love this soap. But anyway, they created a, a second one with the red plastic or bakelite or celluloid, some type of. artificial plastic like handle and there so there's two versions of these running around I've not tried the, the later version which still if, if I remember correctly is a is a vintage razor but uh, that's lovely dude anyway I love this soap. <laughs> uh, they're both vintage razors as far as I remember. But I've never had the opportunity to try the the other 
version. I'd love to if I ever get a hold of one, I will. But that's, that's a gorgeous razor. As far as the shave goes, it's, it's a fantastic shaver. Gorgeous. That could have used a, a bit more water, actually. Put a little bit more in it. There we go. Love. That feels better. Uh, I've said it before. But it's worth repeating. Especially the newer guys who are learning to lather. Uh, you can feel when the water is right, though. The ratio of water is right in the lather. Uh, if the water is not in the lather, it'll go on cloying. It'll go on thick and rich. That's what you want, but it will also go on and feel like there's uh, something that, like a mask or something on your face that's kind of closing everything in. When you get the right amount of water in your lather, what'll happen is you'll feel the lather open up and your skin will begin to, for lack of a better word, breathe through the lather. And then you know, alright, that's proper hydration. And that's something that you'll pick up as you shave more, if you pay attention to it. I know there's, it's obvious to me because I, from some of the guys that I watch uh, sometimes, that uh, a lot of guys, especially DE shavers, they don't have a clue about that. They don't pay any attention to it. You don't need a slick of a lather with a DE anyway, so to them it may not matter. But to me, if the lather is dry and it's not got the right amount of water in it, that kind of chlorine kind of smothering kind of feel is uncomfortable. So I want it. I want the lather to open up so that my face can, like I said, for lack of a better term, breathe. And it just makes it feel more comfortable and more uh, open and just a whole lot better. It's more natural of a feeling. So I'm going to use, since it's a sandalwood shave, that's a sandalwood can be a fairly bold set, and this one is. I'm going to use Barbasol Brisk to which I've added a whopping boatload of menthol crystals. There's not enough alcohol in the barbasol that it... Oh, that's right. Ha ha ha, my eyes are watered. There's enough alcohol in the barbasol that it will open that, you know, it'll take that menthol and just no problem. It dissolves in it really fast and easy. Alright, that's been the shave. Got a little bit of nick there. I'll have to take care of that. God bless you. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.